everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and today's video is going to be all about Jacqueline Hill. Miss Jacqueline Hill, she is a known YouTuber here on YouTube and she is amazing. I think she's amazing at any type of makeup look. I love her eyes. I feel like they are a perfect shape for eyeshadow. Um, but anyway, she has some collabs with Morphe and I bought both of them myself and I wanted to review them for y'all. I came up with this eyeshadow look I'm not even gonna lie with y'all right now. It looks kind of crazy. It's not something that I would go for every day But I tried following her makeup tutorial that she did with the dark and stormy palette um, I don't think this is as ugly. I would I don't think this is as as I don't think that this is as ugly as I thought it would be I mean it did come together at the end after all the blending and the lashes and the face makeup I feel like it looks okay now. I don't know if I would wear this on an everyday basis, but yeah. So like I said, this is the... Oh, uh, that really hurt my arm. So anyways, like I said, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill The Volt collection. There are five, five, no, four. So like I said, this is the Volt collection with Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. It comes with four eyeshadow palettes. Ring the Alarm, Armed and Gorgeous, Bling Boss, and Dark Magic. Dark Magic is actually the one I did this eyeshadow look with. I followed Jaclyn Hill's tutorial, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, I kind of got it dirty. Um, and then also, I have her brush collection. This is 24 brushes, I believe. Yes, 24 brushes. It comes with eye and face brushes. They came in this case. I did um, purchase I did purchase the complete collection because I just thought it was a better deal doing it that way. Um, I love these brushes and I show you how to use them and how they work in this video. If you want to see how these brushes work with her palette, her palettes, then just keep on watching. I use QuickBooks Self-Employed to maximize my tax deductions. Commercial. Mileage. I'm going to grab the Dark Magic palette, of course. We're and going I'm gonna in. Go in with the first shade, Poof, okay. right here. We're going in I'm with. I'm going to put that all over my entire. She's going in with this shade right here called Poof, and she's taking a. Lid area. I'm going to pick up the JH30 right here. She's picking up the JH30 in this Poof color, Poof. So, and I think she's just using that to set her eyes. So let's find it. Yeah. JH30. All right, I found it. Let's do this. Ooh, I can use this as my mirror. Okay, now the eyelids are set with the shade Poof. Okay, she's taking this shade called Potion right here in the brush JH32, and I'm assuming that she's putting this all over her crease. I pick up Potion right here. So I'm just gonna take this and start to put it right in the transition area, starting on the outer corner of the eye. And then as I bring it in, I'll kind of raise up my eyebrow and get it nice and tight in that inner corner, buffed out. Okay, so yeah, she's just taking this Potion color very um, gently in the crease and just blending it out. Um, starting off with little product and then just adding on. This shade looks a little patchy, I'm not gonna lie. This is a matte army green kind of pukey looking color and it is very hard to come up with a pigment pigmented, not patchy formula with these kind of colors. So I'm just gonna keep blending, see how it turns out. It could look kind of patchy, but then it can turn out great. Okay, so me and Jacqueline have very different eye shapes, so this look isn't gonna look exactly the same, but it's gonna look similar. Um, yeah. Okay, my eyes are looking a little creepy and crazy, but let's just see what Jacqueline does next. Okay, so she's taking the JH34, and with no product, she's just blending around the edges, so there's no harsh edges. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, she is taking 
the color trickery this one it's like a She's taking the shade Trickery, this one, it's like a forest green, and she's taking the JH41, and I'm assuming she's putting this all over her lid. It's my brush with a little fix plus, not too much, like I don't want to get it like sopping wet, but just like a, that's honestly enough. And I am going to just put this on my entire lid from inner corner to outer corner. Okay, yes. So she's taking this and she is getting the tricker, trick, trickery, trickery, trickery. That's kind of a tough word for me. Color and just getting that on there. And then she sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus. She said not too much. Okay. And then just applying this to her entire lid. Not the fact that these eyeshadows are bad whatsoever, it's just I am not used to myself looking like this and with these kind of colors on my eyes. So bear with me, I'm trying to try something new and it has nothing to do with these brushes or the eyeshadows. I'm just really freaked out because this is not my look. But maybe it'll come together, let's hope. I really don't let's just keep going okay so I think my camera died in the middle of me filming and I didn't even realize it I have a new camera so things are kind of it like I'm still kind of learning how to use this but um, I'm just gonna walk through all the steps that I did watching her video and just make sure we're on the same track so first color I put down was this potion shade and I just blended it into the crease and made it look very seamlessly it did kind of take a while for there to be no harsh lines but once I put a lot of products on, it was looking a little better and better as each color went on. Next, I took the Trickery, it's a hard color to say, all over my lid and um, I just used that as my lid color. Next, I used the shade Inside Job in the outer corner to blend both of the colors together. The Trickery shade and the Potion shade in the crease. And then I took Potion again and blended that all out for the longest period of time. So and then I just applied my foundation and my eyebrows and now I think we are back on track. Next she is taking the JH40 in the same Potion color and just putting it in the lower lash line and just smoking that out. If you're not comfortable with comfortable with this um, like a lot of shadow in the lower lash line she does have a smaller pencil brush in her collection it is this one right here and this is the JH39 so um, usually I don't go this blown out in the lower lash line but since we're following her tutorial I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna take the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner in Black, I think is the color, and just put that in my lower lash line. Just to like make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm just gonna go over that potion color again. Clear that out. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this look was looking pretty crazy at first, but I mean it's still looking pretty crazy, just because I'm not used to it, but. It's looking a little better than I thought. Next, she's taking Busted, this blue color, and she's just stamping it with the G JH43, and she's just putting that in the lower lash line. So, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that color. So she's taking this white color in the VIP, not the VIP, <laughs> The white color in the Armed and Gorgeous palette with the JH39, which is like a small pencil brush, and just putting that in the corner. Oh, that's pretty. And then on top of that, she's just layering, layering the Power Cut shade, so it's not like so intense. Okay, she's taking that VIP, VIP, VIP color again in the Armed and Gorgeous palette and just highlighting her brow bone. So I'm just going to do the same. 
So there it is. The eyeshadow is complete. I'm not saying that I hate it, but I'm not saying that I love it. I'm going to apply some lashes and I'll be right back with my final thought on the eyeshadow palettes. All right, so my lashes are on, the eyes are complete. The eyeshadows I do like. Um, some of the eyeshadows I like more than the other, but overall, I think this palette in particular, the Dark Magic palette, I do think it's a, ooh, I do think it's a really nice palette. Uh, this shade right here, Poison, was just a little hard to blend out, but um, no worries, we got it to work. This eyeshadow look was looking so crazy. I thought this was gonna be terrible, like, uh, but now that I blended everything out, put some lashes on, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. The brushes for the eyes were actually pretty nice. I liked all of them. They blended. They were really... That just went in my mouth. They all blended really well. Hacker brush worked really well with getting right on the lid. I definitely will reuse these brushes. The only bad part is is that I have to wash them because I just used all this green eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do my face makeup with y'all real quick and yeah. Next I have the, I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH5. I think it's 05 or 05, I don't know. But I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Pr Princess Avenue palette and the Princess Cut Shade and just carving out my cheekbones. And then just carving out my nose a little bit. Now that we're contoured, I'm just going to take the Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze and just bronze all over the face with the JH02. This has to be my favorite brush so far in the whole entire collection because it is so soft and I feel like that harsh contour I just had, it just blended out so well. For blush, I'm going to be using the JH04, and I'm just going to be using a Tarte blush called Prim, Prime. For highlight, I'm going to be taking the JH09, and I'm going to take Morphe's Highlight and Extra, and just put that on the high points of my cheek. I'm going to put a little on my nose and on my Cupid's bow. I'm also going to add a little bit to the brow bone because I think this white is just like really intense. So I just want to make it a little more warm if that makes sense. And then I'm going to add just a little bit in the corner. Okay, so there it is, my completed look. Um, I think it turned out better than I thought it was going to. I lost hope for just a little bit. And once I put on the rest of my face makeup and once that I added lashes and did the lower lash line, I think it turned out really pretty. This is a look that I don't really go for usually. I say that in like every video that I try eyeshadow look, I'm like, I don't usually do this, but I really don't. I only do like warm tone eyeshadows, smoky, warm tone looks like literally that's all I do so this is like whoa like looking at it in the rear view mirror I'm like so yeah I actually like this look I don't know if I'd wear it on an everyday basis or even I don't know special occasions I would wear this on a special occasion where I might have like a green outfit it might look cute it's very I feel like I could wear this in the fall and I could make it work with something you know but yes, so I really do like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volt Collection palettes. I think they are bomb. And then also, I really do love the brushes. They are very, very, very soft. They blend out shadow beautifully. Even like the bronzer brush and the blush brush, it's really soft on the face. It doesn't feel scratchy. I feel like these are comparable to the the Morphe Elite Collection, I think it's called. These are super soft, and I feel like these are ooh, these are comparable to that, so that's a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. This video did take a while, and there were technical difficulties with the camera and it cutting off and me not getting all of the footage I needed, but we are here. We are at the end. We made it. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been recording as much. Please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!